One of the student learning outcomes of this course is to assess complex text for audience, purpose, tone, and development. To achieve this goal, you are going to be reading Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. As critical thinkers, we can't just accept everything someone says, even if we like that person. We need to assess their ideas instead of their personality. The general steps that you will complete for analyzing a book are to survey, read, discuss, and respond. Each week you will have book chapters to read, chapter questions to answer, and a discussion board post. During the last week that we are reading Outliers, you will also have a writing response to complete. It will be about a paragraph and I will show you the writing prompt at that time. I'll show you how I would personally go about reading Outliers. Remember that the first step to critical reading is to survey or skim the work. When I first look at a book, I notice its title, author, how many pages it is, how it's organized. I read the front, the back, the inside. Usually the information about the author is on the jacket somewhere, either here or here. I flip through the book. I see if there's any pictures, any headings, anything that stands out. I would note that the book was a national bestseller. Uh, it's still in print today. That tells me that a lot of people liked it and still do. When was it published? Okay, it was first published in 2008. I would think about the culture and events at that time to understand the context in which it was written. I would look into the author to get an understanding of his credentials, possible biases, occupation, anything else that would help me understand his point of view about life. Another thing I would do at this point is review the discussion questions. That way my mind would be paying attention to looking for these key ideas. The next step is to read the book. When I read, I always have a pen to annotate or a pencil. I realize that some people hate to mark up their books or they can't because they want to sell them back to the school. So if you can't or won't mark up your book, then you'll want to read with a notebook nearby or use post-it notes. Remember that when you are actively reading or critically reading, you want to note any key ideas, point out intriguing details, underline quotes, write down your thoughts that agree or disagree, and so forth. I'm going to start with the introduction. As I begin reading, I notice that Gladwell begins his book with a story. As a writer, that's a strategy you can use to get the attention of your reader and illustrate a point. Humans love stories. So also notice that he provides descriptive details about the town. He uses descriptive writing skills to help you better imagine the place. Moving on, I notice that he has plenty of details and examples to help us understand their lives in the town. I also note any metaphors or other rhetorical devices because I'm looking at how he writes and makes his points. That's a part of analyzing a book. That's also how you improve your writing skills. Read good stuff. I continue to notice other things such as how he uses direct quotes to help you hear words being said. He includes concrete details and he uses a variety of sentence structure. Then I get to an area where I remember seeing in the discussion questions. Why is Rosetto considered an outlier? Later, I will come across another important area. Gladwell specifically states his purpose for the book. 
As a writer, you won't always specifically state your purpose for writing. Your readers will figure it out. But here, Gladwell specifically states it. After I read one chapter, I like to answer the discussion questions because the ideas are fresh in my mind, but you can do whatever works best for you. The next step is to discuss the book. The discussion questions make sure that you notice the key ideas in the book and assess the development. When answering, I want to write complete sentences and use the page number. So I would write something like, Gladwell states his purpose for writing the book as, I want to do for our understanding of success what Stuart Wolf did for our understanding of health. Just one to three sentences for each discussion question should be just fine. In addition to critically reading and analyzing the text on your own, you'll also be discussing the book on the discussion board. The last step is to respond to the book. Your response should be just one paragraph organized with an introduction, summary, and analysis. Remember to use direct quotes and page numbers from the book. I hope you gain a new perspective about success after reading Outliers. And if you have any questions, please let me know.